breakfast is eaten and we are planning to go to swim. Sarah is planning to go to swim. No, we I'm both. Not. I, I go shower because shower is warming up. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a uh, Sinileva organism which is... Uh, Toxic. <laughs> so you cannot really go, but I'm planning to go and then I take a shower so I can rinse it off. That uh, our one neighbor is pretty... I don't know. He came here yesterday in the morning time and yeah, we haven't seen him since. He hasn't stepped out of his vehicle. <laughs> At all. So We are hoping he's alive. Yeah, there has been some some movement inside, so I yeah. think he's alive. But you know if you own a camper van, it's really cozy be inside there. Yeah. And the sleeping, I, I sleep really well in our camper van. But our mattress is really good. Yeah, and it's a factory-made mattress. I think it's one of the best mattresses that I have ever, ever yeah, slept on. Yeah, it's really good. So yeah. our advice is, if you are having a tight budget, invest in a good mattress. Because when you sleep well, nothing else doesn't bother you. <laughs> yeah. So, what kind of camper van or what do you need to take consider when choosing one? Think about the budget, how much you are going to invest in it, and then if you are planning to leave it full time or just weekend trips, yeah. because then you have different kind of things you that you have to consider. Yeah. We thought that we would need a lot of space, so we were actually looking for seven meter campers and at first, yeah, yeah, yeah this is the, the minimum that we would need, and there has to be this wide and. This must be space, but everything you carry in your car, it adds extra weight. It needs more space, so you need to really consider: Do I really need this stuff? Because even these like factory-made camper vans, they have a tons of storage, but you don't need that much storage. At least in Europe, I think in the US also the large. Uh, Motor homes are actually more, much more cheaper than camper vans. Uh, we have seen it in Europe, for example, with our van price tag, you can get like the nicest 8 meter motor home with ex all the extras and everything. So. The letter couches, big fridges, mm. ovens. Okay, oven, we are kind of jealous, but. Yeah. But really, there's a lot of things that you can actually buy with the same price as camper yeah. vans. You are going to limit yourself if you buy too big car, because then you cannot go everywhere you might want to go. You are stuck like in cell places, big parking lots that are not in the center of the cities. Yeah. And if you are going to, to the forest roads or something, yeah, you don't want to go there with a huge motor home. Yeah. There's a lot of regulation about the uh, big sized uh, Vehicle. vehicles that cannot go to the central of the cities. I would take consider the local laws and yeah. local parking spots, how big they are. In Finland, the parking lots are really small, yeah. so our van hardly fits to those parking lots. We did look for everything, every layout that there is, and I think. Yeah. Even after these two years, I cannot imagine better layout than this. This works best for us. When you live every day, 24-7 inside your car, it helps. That everything is fixed. Yeah, so that means you don't have to shuffle things so much. So it doesn't cause that much stress because everything is perfect all the time. One of the major things for us were the interior, how it looked, but there was also really much things that we had to take consider. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of law and taxation things in Finland, and I think in some other countries there's also those that you can uh, register the van as a motorhome. One of the major things when we started looking for is what 1.9 meters height inside the van and also the bed that is suitable for us and that's one of the point why didn't we buy a mercedes printer yeah. because it's uh, so much it's too narrow and the walls are much curvier this fiat ducato is more like box shape 
so it suits us better. So if you're a long person, you, you need... You cannot fit your bed this way and it takes all the space inside of the car. Yeah, for example, in Europe, the Sprinter vans are, let's say, 20,000 20, euros. Higher price tax than the Fiat Ducados. And I I don't know, I don't know why <laughs> they are. It used to be like the Mercedes were like only only cars that lasted for the lifetime, but nowadays... They have a diesel engine in every car. Yeah, and for example, this Fiat Ducados new engine is it's a beast. It's a workhorse, so it, it can last that half a million kilometers yeah. easily. And Fiat Ducato has a much cheaper spare parts and maintenance. So we like this one a lot. And one subject is uh, that I want lots of windows and Sarah doesn't want any windows. Yeah, so uh, that's like whatever you prefer. And we also struggle every night that I want to keep the lights on here and the windows open and Sarah wants to close the, all the blinds. Yeah. Well, this is my home too, and I want to be in private in my bedroom. So I really love this back door, windows, and also this sky roof very much. But I don't like those side windows that much. So I would prefer to have a less windows, but Yoni would like to have more, like here one and here one. But these kind of things you might have to consider. 